Hello everyone, today we are going to deal with integrating such expressions 1 over a square plus x square with respect to x and this always gives us 1 over a tangent inverse 1 over ax plus c where c is an arbitrary constant. Now let's take a quick look at this example over here integrate 3 over 2 plus 5x square dx. Now when do we exactly employ this technique? It is when you see that at the denominator there is a plus sign and also there is an x square over here and also in the numerator the value is a constant number such as this number 3 over here. Now the very first thing that we can do is to factorize the numerator such that it gives us a value of 1. So we're going to take out the value 3, let's put it out outside over here and we are also going to factorize 5 from the denominator so that the coefficient of x squared becomes a 1. Now doing so we will have 3 over 5 integrate 1 over 2 over 5 plus x squared dx. Now step number 2, we are going to express this term in a square format. Something like you see in the expression over here. So this will give us square root 2 over square root 5 squared plus x squared. Now you see that the expression is becoming more and more like this template over here. We are then ready to integrate this expression which will give us a tangent inverse. Now in step number 3, let's reciprocate this term right now because we see that there is 1 over a over here and here. So doing so, we will have square root 5 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 5. Straight away write the tangent inverse over here as well as square root 5 over square root 2x plus c which is the arbitrary constant. Now let's try to simplify the first term by rationalizing the denominator. So multiplying square root 2 on both the numerator and the denominator, we will have square root 10 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 5, tangent inverse square root 10 over 2 x plus c. We are then ready to simplify it further to give us 3 square root 10 over 10, tangent inverse square root 10 over 2 x plus c. So this is the integral of the expression. Now before we move on to the next example, do remember to hit the subscribe button to see more valuable contents such as this. Now let's try this example over here to solidify our understanding. You realize that in the numerator, there is a constant term which is 2 and in the denominator, the two terms are connected by a plus sign and there's also an x square over here. Again, the very first step to do is to remove the 2 from the numerator giving us 2 over here and also to take out the value of 4 from the term 4x squared. Now doing so we will then have 2 over 4 integrate 1 over 3 over 4 plus x squared with respect to x. Now again step number 2 is to ensure that this term is in the form of a square. So what we can do is to introduce a square root to the numerator and the denominator which is square root 3 over square root 4 and we are going to enclose it with a square plus x squared. Now we are then ready to change it into this format. Let's do a reciprocal of square root 3 over square root 4. So this will give us square root 4 over square root 3 multiplied by 2 over 4. We can introduce tangent inverse right now and then introduce square root 4 over square root 3 again x plus c. Now square root 4 is actually a 2 and you can see that there is a square root 3 in the denominator. So I would like to remove the square root 3 in the denominator by multiplying square root 3 on both the numerator and the denominator. Now doing so, we will then have 2 square root 3 over 3 because square root 3 multiplied by square root 3 is a 3. Multiply it to half tangent inverse. Now this will be 2 square root 3 over 3 which is the same term that you see over here x plus c. Simplifying further, we will then have square root 3 over 3, tangent inverse, 2 square root 3 over 3, x plus c. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching.